was brought to you by Earth. On YouTube, enhance and mobile advertising on Facebook. Okay, these are Robert's uh, sweet melons, and they've been popping up really quick. I'm debating on what to do with them because I, I know that that's really close together and it's shallow dirt, but I know these are real sensitive, so I don't know how well they'll transplant. All right, it's June the 5th, 2009, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. These are some of the sweet melons that we have growing in a container. I'm going to <coughs> try to transplant these. Um, I'm waiting until that leaf, the mature leaf right there comes out all the way. There's four of them doing it right now on them. But I'm going to go ahead and wait before I transplant uh, or before I put any seeds down in my cantaloupe garden. And I'm going to try to transplant at least five of these and hold off a couple days before I do it. And I'll take a picture of that. And then I'm going to transplant these over here in my cantaloupe garden which this area got flooded out so I have three spots open there and then that's a fourth one and the fifth one is right there now possibly I'm not sure if I'm going to do it I probably will but I'm going to do these three too these were supposed to be those mini watermelons which uh, Robert wanted to put down but I'm going to go ahead and put cantaloupe or those sweet melons in i've also got a couple of uh, cantaloupes that are already big enough to start training and this is what i'm doing with them i'm training them to go up the string and on to my trellis i want to show you how i'm doing this uh, now last year I made the mistake when I first started I was trying to take the rope and wrap it around the plant. Instead of doing that this year I did it the other way around. I'm using, I'm taking the vine and putting it around the rope instead, instead of the rope around the vine and letting it grow up on its own. It's just basically training it and that's what it is. Way I can get it up to there. Get a picture of that. But these are the ones one, two, three, four, four of them really that I've gotten started on it. I uh, put the strings on all of these over here, even though I'm not training all of them. That one right there actually started going up on its own, so. But that one's five actually so one two three four five i put the string on that one and that one and that one but it's they're not ready now over here i've got all these growing out but they're like little babies and the, these two are almost ready i'm gonna wait uh maybe till tomorrow or the next day and get them but I wanted to do a quick update on how things are going and show everybody how the cantaloupes are going along get a good picture of this if I can Keep you updated. Okay, I did the first transplant with the plant that I showed you the other day that had the mature leaf on it. And when I pulled it out, I 
used a baby spoon that I found in the ground and I went down straight and I pulled up and when I did that I uncovered some more cantaloupes that were down there that weren't above surface and I had to go in and be careful because I didn't want to hurt those and at the same time I didn't want to hurt the plant that I was transplanting so I don't really have a good uh, video camera I'm using my phone so I couldn't film that and hold the, the phone at the same time but that's what I did and this is June the 6th or it's June the 7th 2019 zone 6 in southern Illinois Okay, this is uh, June the 7th, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. This is the cantaloupe or sweet melon that I uh, just transplanted. I have it in the garden. As you can tell, this one got clipped. I think the birds are doing that, so I went ahead and put this one in because it was ready. And now I'm going to see how this handles all the other ones matured. Now when I transplanted it, I used this to put it in the ground. And the root, let me set this down. The root was this long. And wait, the root was this long. So I went ahead and I dug the hole this high actually is this song so I did it this high <clears throat> and I set it down in there and it looked like it did all right so it's rain today sprinkling so hopefully that'll help with the water and stuff but we'll see how this handles get a picture just in case I forgot to by Earth on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.